You're watching the second video in the updated tutorial series for Crossout, an MMO action game with crazy car battles in a post-apocalyptic world. Previously, we covered the basics, finished the first fight, and got our first trophies. What's your next goal? And how can you get ready for battles to come? Getting stronger in Crossout is all about getting access to new parts. You can obtain them by getting to higher reputation levels with different factions, by crafting them, getting them in exchange for special badges, or by purchasing them on the market. There are some parts that can be immediately used on your car if you're happy with their parameters. But you get a lot more options if you engage with the crafting system. We've mentioned it before, but today we're going to talk about it in detail. There's a whole technology tree for you to explore in the Crafting tab, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. After your first fight, you're bound to have a bit of scrap metal. If we add some copper to that, we can craft a powerful shotgun. How do we do that? Go to the Factional Workbenches tab. Basic parts don't require any gold to make, but more advanced parts and modules might be pretty expensive. By the way, Sometimes you can pay for a new tech with special coupons instead of gold. You get these coupons by reaching certain reputation levels and for certain events. The price also depends on the rarity of the part, indicated by its color. Some parts can be crafted only after reaching a certain level. If there's such a requirement, it's always shown in the text box. Also keep in mind that manufacturing parts takes time and the higher the rarity of the item, the more time it takes. You can speed up the process by paying some extra gold, and we'll tell you about the ways you can get gold and the way the market works in the next video. Each faction has a unique set of equipment that can be crafted while you're with them. You can check what they're offering through the crafting screen before joining. As you might remember from the previous video, before you reach level 10, you can only be a member of the Engineers faction. Other factions have their own requirements to join. You can check them in this window. By the way, you can change your allegiance and hop from one faction to another anytime you want. They don't care. Three identical cabins, weapons, wheels, or pieces of equipment can be combined together to create an upgraded version of the part with buffed characteristics. You don't need benches or any extra resources to do that. All in all, the overall manufacturing process looks like this. You come up with an idea for a vehicle, check the list of parts that are available to you to see which ones might be useful, and then collect coins and resources needed to make all the parts that you want. Here's a quick reminder where you can get your resources for crafting. Regular PvP missions are named after the resources that you can get there. For instance, there are Get Wires or Get the Batteries missions. You can earn copper, plastic, and electronics in raids, and uranium in clan battles. You'll always see the full list of rewards right above the button that starts the mission. One more thing we have to discuss here are blueprints. They don't cost anything and can be extremely useful, as you can get inspiration from them and also learn other people's engineering tricks. The Exhibition tab has all sorts of interesting and unusual designs, and you can immediately take any of them for a drive in your test range. If you like what you see, just add the blueprint to your collection and build it in your garage. You can also change the design any way you want. Just make sure that you have all the required parts and storage. That's it for today. We've learned how to make good use of our hard-earned trophies and manufacture new, valuable items. The next video is going to be about earning gold and trading on the market. And then we'll get to some advanced building tips. See you there!